Today's lesson is on dilations. Dilations are really easy, and they're one of my favorite things to do. You'll see the dilations in a few minutes, but first we've got to talk about something called scale factor. So what scale factor is, it's how much an object is being either expanded or reduced. So, we're trying to figure out how much our objects are either growing or shrinking. This particular example, we notice that our shape is starting off really large and it ends up really small. Now, one thing that we want to keep in mind is that if an object is starting off big and ending out small, our scale factor is going to be a number less than one. In other words, it's going to be a fraction. If our object goes from small to big, we want our scale factor to be larger than one. So, looking at this particular example, we notice that this large shape has a side length of 12 and 4, and because it's a rectangle, the other sides will match. And it ends up at this smaller shape with a side length of 6 by 2. The easiest way to find scale factor is we're going to take our an image side, and we're going to divide it by a corresponding pre-image side. So if I take 6 and I divide it by the corresponding side, 12, I'm using these two sides, and I reduce, I will notice that my answer is 1 half. That means the scale factor from this rectangle to here is 1 half. If I check out this next object, well, it's kind of tough to count these diagonal units, but I can probably check and see how far across this object is. This object starts off being two across. And if I check how far across it is here, I notice that it's six units across. So to find my scale factor, I'm going to take the length from my image, and I'm going to divide it by the corresponding length from my pre-image. Six divided by two gives me a scale factor of three. Now again, like I said, if we have a number bigger than one, it should be enlarging. So if I notice that this thing starts off small, if I make it three times larger, it ends up being this much larger image. So that's scale factor. Now, now when we do dilations, they're going to be giving us a scale factor to work with. In this particular example, they give us some coordinates for a triangle, and then they tell us that we have a scale factor, which they always use the letter K to represent scale factor. We want it to be twice the size. Nice thing about scale factor is these are all multiplication problems. We're going to take our scale factor and we're going to multiply each of the coordinates by the scale factor. So let's see how this works in action. Let's plot out our shape first. A is at 1, 2. B is at 3, 1, and C is at 2, negative 1. If I connect all of my points, that's our original shape, but we want to dilate it by 2. So like I said, this is just a quick multiplication problem. If I start A off at 1, 2, I'm going to multiply by our scale factor of 2. That's going to give me A prime will be at 2, 4. Again, just multiplying, giving us our result. B was at 3, 1, multiplying by a scale factor of 2. That's going to give me 6, 2. C was at 2, negative 1, multiplying by the scale factor of 2. That's going to give me 4, negative 2. Don't forget any signs that they have in there. We want to include them. So if we check out what we've got, A is going to be at 2, 4. Sorry, A prime. B prime is going to be at 6, 2. And C prime will be at 4, negative 2. And if I connect all of my points, we notice that our new image is twice the size as our first. Another thing I want to quickly point out, scale factor also affects distance. Now something I didn't mention was that we're always starting from the origin, unless it tells us to dilate from a different point, which we'll look at later in the year. 
But for right now, we're always dilating started at the center. So something you might notice is that the distance from the center to A originally was, I'm going to call this, you know, uh, two units, we'll say. This particular one was two units up and one unit over. But when I doubled it, we ended up going four units up and two units over. So even the distance doubled. Same idea here. Here we went one unit up and three units over, but to get to B prime, we went two units up and six units over. So, so everything has doubled. Same idea here. We went one down and two over, but to get to C prime, we went two down and four over. So even the distance has doubled. That's something else you want to keep in mind. Okay. The shape itself and the distances are all growing proportionally. One more example for you. This example says to dilate triangle LMN with L at 6, 3, M negative 3, negative 3, and N negative 3, 6. We want to use a scale factor of 1 third. So we notice 1 third, we should be thinking our shape should be getting smaller. I'm going to give you guys a second to try this one on your own if you want to pause the video, see what you come up with, resume it, and we'll go over the answer. All right, let's see how you did. First, I'm going to plot out my triangle. L is at 6, 3. M is at negative 3, negative 3. And N is at negative 3, 6. That is a huge triangle. What we're hoping to do with this, though, is to make it smaller. So let's make our triangle complete, and then let's reduce this. Again, it's just a multiplication problem. Although most of you guys would think when we see fraction, you might want to consider it as dividing by 3. So if that's how you think of it, that's absolutely fine. It's going to end up giving us the same result. So if I multiply L by 1 third, that'll give L prime, well, 1 third of 6 is 2, 1 third of 3 is 1. For M at negative 3, negative 3, we're going to use a scale factor of 1 third, gives m prime. One third of negative three is negative one. And that's going to be the same for our y coordinate. And finally, n, when we multiply by the scale factor of one third, this will give us negative one. And one third of six, again, is two. So let's check it out. Crossing our fingers right now that it ends up as a smaller triangle, because that's what the instructions told us it should be. So, 2, 1, that's L prime, negative 1, negative 1, M prime, and negative 1, 2, N prime. Hey, look at that, guys. It ended up as a smaller triangle, which is exactly what we were hoping for. And again, we can check out the distances, too, right? Here we went up 3 over 6. Now we're only going up 1 over 2. It's one third distance away. And if we were to check that with the rest of these, we would notice again that it's always one third, which is what we want. We want it to be one third the distance from our origin. So dilations to me, I like them because they're easy to do. Hopefully it's just as easy for you guys. It's mostly just multiplication. All right, that's it for today.